For those of you who are planning a lesson focusing on reading, I want to spend a few minutes here providing a general overview of what you might consider. And one of the things I want to bring to your attention here is focusing on different strategies. Think of different ways that you can help students use a strategy to help them improve their skill. Remember that a strategy is essentially anything that the, the individual, the student, and or the teacher will do to help improve a particular skill. In this case, the reading skill. So there are many different ways of looking at the different strategies. And we have, in prior lessons, when we we're developing a lesson focusing on listening, we looked at different receptive skills that you could also consider for now your reading, um, your reading lesson. But I want to go into some other ways of looking at different strategies uh, to provide uh, hopefully some other insights on what you can do for your own lesson. And I think one of the most straightforward ways of thinking about strategies when it comes to reading are the following here. Activating prior knowledge. Helping students create some kind of visual or other sensory image from the text. Drawing inferences from the text, maybe in the form of conclusions, making critical judgments, maybe creating some unique interpretations. Asking questions, having students ask questions is another strategy. Determining the most important ideas and themes. Synthesizing what they have read. Okay, so th these are different ways that you can help your students employ different strategies for them to increase their reading comprehension. Now, some of these are going to be more appropriate before, during, and or after the reading. So, for example, prior knowledge, you could, uh, you could practice this strategy or promote this strategy in your class before, during, and after the reading. Creating visuals, this could be done as well before, during, and after. Asking questions throughout the text. Maybe this is done either before, during, or after. Synthesizing probably is going to be more appropriate either at the end or perhaps if you're breaking down a longer text into smaller sections, then I could see where you might also employ this strategy during the text. Again, if it's to help them understand a longer, more complex text. Determining the most important ideas, probably most appropriate to implement this at the end of the uh, reading so that they have all the information available for them to make a determination on what would be important or what might be an overall theme that represents that particular text. Another way of looking at different strategies here is Anderson's eight strategies. And I think the first four, or perhaps even the first three, are going to be more um, maybe more relevant at this point, thinking in terms of just developing a 15-minute lesson. But I think it's important to realize that all of these work together nicely if you're thinking about your overall teaching practice. Some of this we've already mentioned, activate prior knowledge. Cultivating vocabulary, so try to employ some kind of technique or strategy for helping students develop vocabulary is going to be useful. Again, this could be done before, during, uh, or after the text. Reading comprehension, we mentioned before. Trying to find different ways to think top-down or bottom-up in terms of having them get the main idea, maybe get the meaning from just getting the gist of what's being read, trying to get the meaning from the text, even when perhaps they don't understand all of the vocabulary. Okay, these are all different strategies that, that you could use. Now, the, the remaining strategies here, increasing the reading rate, verify strategies, evaluate progress, build motivation, plan instruction, and select. Of course, these are also relevant, but I think it can uh, you can easily feel overwhelmed when looking at all the different options here for strategies. So 
So try to review the different strategies, see which ones stand out for you depending on the objective, the learning goal or objective of the, of the uh, lesson, and try to think in terms of strategies, helping your students form these strategies to help understand uh, their, the text that they're asked to read. The last thing I'll mention here is think of your lesson either in terms of drill and practice or more towards a communicative class. And in the real world, right, you're probably going to have some kind of combination between the communicative approach and drill and practice. I would encourage you to explore different ways of promoting communication uh, in, your, in your reading lesson as best as you can. And also think of in terms of to what degree can I bring in authentic either material and or uh, an authentic experience in the, in the class. Right, and I've got some examples of different materials that you might consider for reading that are considered authentic. These are just a few that you can consider. There are others, of course, <clears throat> but think of to what degree can you bring in authenticity in your lesson and also to what degree can you bring in some kind of a communicative or social type of experience. And the strategies, although the strategies that we've listed here are related to language and understanding and, and reading per se, there are some other social strategies, that is, ways that students can work together to help each other also understand the text. So, cooperation, collaboration, helping each other, even asking each other questions, there's a social component here that could also be brought in, and also any kind of cognitive uh, strategies, for example, using some kind of graphic organizer, a mind map that students might complete either in preparation for reading a text or as a result of having read a text. I think using graphic organizers, some kind of visual representation, uh, it would also be a helpful strategy in helping students promote their reading. So I hope this gives you some, some ideas. There, there's a lot of information here. Start to look through this and uh, ask questions. If you want me to take a look at your lesson plan, if you just want to discuss some of your uh, thoughts in terms of what you want to do for your lesson, uh, let, make sure you're reaching out to me. And uh, I think we'll stop there. Look forward to seeing your lesson.